Now, I've been incredibly fortunate to have experienced a lot of cool things in my life. You know, I, I've traveled, I played soccer in front of big crowds, uh, I've been on TV. The winner of Survivor Africa. I'm not an expert on human nature, but I did gain some insight into the way people work and the tools people use when placed in an unfamiliar environment. Distractions were taken away from me. I was left with nothing more than the bare essentials of who I am. And once I became aware, I can use this celebrity in this moment in my life as a platform to just provide this little mini revolution of consciousness. And this is how we can all begin to change the world. Living with barely enough food and water was torture. But the real challenge came when I suddenly had to figure out what do you do when you win a million bucks? I took my money, invested it in something much bigger than myself co-founded a charity called Grassroots Soccer, and we use the power of soccer in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Soccer happens to be one of the greatest networks on this planet. So you can imagine the impact when you take a professional player, these heroes, these role models, these gods of the community, and put them in front of these children. Their eyes pop open, their jaws drop, and we end up changing their behavior so they can go out there and make the right choices in life. Through education and sport, we can prevent disease. Simple concept, we're doing it. Fantastic. How many countries are you working in? Grassroots Soccer is running programs in 50 countries, and we've graduated over 1.9 million kids from the program. I was 35 years old, on top of the world, feeling happy, healthy, until a swollen lymph node popped out of my neck, and they found a mass in my chest. I was diagnosed with CD20-positive Hodgkin's lymphoma. My whole body had turned against me. My hair was falling out, I felt miserable, I had no energy. And let me tell you, it hasn't been so easy. Ethan was recently diagnosed with a rare type of Hodgkin's lymphoma. He's blogging about it, posting video diaries, and serving as an ambassador to anyone battling cancer. You are now entering the chemo zone. Get ready for battle. Survivor is no longer just a show for him. Winning this battle is his new reality. But obviously, you're not playing a game. For a million bucks, you're playing a game for your life. I realize that the details of my life may have the ability to educate and help other people out there. I craved survival. So just as I turned winning Survivor into an opportunity to help those in Africa, I decided to use my personal cancer crisis into an opportunity to help those right here at home and become a voice, a megaphone for the young adult cancer generation. I ran marathons, cyclothons. I did everything in my power to try to share my story. Doing what I'm doing, going public, it's just, you know, sending a message of hope to everyone out there because you gotta take that crisis, you gotta take that moment, that negativity, and turn it into something positive. You can get through cancer with a smile on your face. You know, I'm not gonna let some silly little cancer diagnosis take me out of the marathon. Cancer's got nothing on me. I'm just excited to run past the hospital, not have to go in for a checkup. Every step I take, I am outrunning cancer. Throughout my entire experience, I have learned that to make happiness real for others is truly the greatest gift. If you want to know the definition of fulfillment, I say follow your heart, fight for a cause, see the hope that is born in someone else's eyes because it's something that you were able to do for them. To me, that's inspiring. It's those actions and that raw generosity and that willingness to help others that makes my journey, my battle, that much easier. This is my song. This is my experience. We all draw strength from knowing that we're not fighting these battles alone. As old or young, man or woman, you know, we all share one thing in common. We're all survivors on this earth for a very short time. And it's not about how or when we leave this world. It's what we do to make the most of each day in each crisis while we're here.